Menstruation, a monthly shedding of the uterine lining, is a defining yet rare feature of human biology. While it seems universal, most mammals don't menstruate. Instead, they reabsorb their uterine lining, conserving resources. In humans, the endometrium thickens in anticipation of pregnancy. If fertilization doesn't occur, it's expelled as a period. This visible loss of blood and tissue sets us apart from the majority of mammals, who experience an estrous cycle with little to no bleeding. Why did evolution select this seemingly wasteful process for us? The rarity of menstruation highlights how peculiar our biology is, prompting scientists to investigate the evolutionary pressures behind it. Most mammals quietly reabsorb the lining, but humans discard it, an expensive choice. The answer isn't simple and remains debated, but it suggests that for humans, the benefits once outweighed the costs. Understanding this enigma takes us to the heart of what makes us biologically distinctive. Menstruation is not just a cycle. It's a clue to our evolutionary story. Let's explore why this process is so rare and what it reveals about us. Only a handful of mammals menstruate. Humans, great apes, some bats, the spiny mouse, and the elephant shrew. This trait evolved independently in these groups, a phenomenon called convergent evolution. What links them? In each, the embryo aggressively implants into the uterine wall, forming a deep connection with the mother's blood supply. This invasive implantation creates a unique biological challenge. In contrast, most mammals have gentle superficial implantation and reabsorb the lining if pregnancy doesn't occur. Menstruation appears tied to this intense fetal-maternal interaction. The process may have evolved as a response to the risks and demands of invasive pregnancies. This rare trait connects us to a surprising array of distant relatives. The answer to why we menstruate lies in the nature of our pregnancies. Why did evolution favor menstruation despite its costs? One theory, the maternal protection hypothesis, suggests menstruation evolved to control how deeply embryos implant, protecting mothers from harm. Another idea, menstruation acts as a quality control system, allowing only the healthiest embryos to survive the demanding uterine environment. This process is costly, loss of blood and nutrients, pain and risk of anemia. Yet the benefits may have outweighed the drawbacks, a robust placenta to nourish large-brained, slow-growing offspring. Menstruation may be the evolutionary price for our intelligence and complex pregnancies. It's a monthly trade-off, the cost of shedding the lining for the potential of healthy, successful offspring. This cycle reflects a unique evolutionary bargain struck by our ancestors. The process is inefficient, but it may have enabled the development of the human brain. Menstruation is a solution to the conflict between mother and fetus. It's a biological tax for the very trait that defines us, our intelligence. The mystery of why we bleed is deeply tied to what makes us human. For centuries, menstruation was misunderstood and shrouded in taboo. Only in the last two centuries did science uncover the hormonal mechanisms behind the cycle. Discoveries of estrogen and progesterone revealed the complex feedback loops controlling menstruation. This knowledge revolutionized reproductive medicine, from contraception to fertility treatments. Yet the evolutionary why remains debated with no single answer. Studying menstruation in other animals like the spiny mouse continues to shed light on this mystery. Understanding menstruation is crucial for women's health, fertility, and disease. Even the most familiar processes can hold the deepest evolutionary secrets.